All right, we're back on Exodus, back to more farming. Gonna just start with OP Bunker, mostly because I saved with here. I can't be bothered running through a thousand cuts again. I figure what I'll do is I'll farm Bunker now. Then I'll go do a few tubby runs. Then I'll go do Monster Mash, some more tubby runs, and then Warrior. Try to space it out a bit. Uh, let's roll. Yeah, it's not gonna take much effort to kill Bunker. I could probably do this on OP10 if I could be bothered to go to OP10. And ah. Don't think it dropped. All right, we uh we go again. Oh, I want to try this on it. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. Make sure I'm not missing it. Yeah, no. Oh, come on, boy. Do your thing. It did its thing. Apologies. <laughs> is that the BNK3R, the greatest defense bot ever built? Yes, and all it takes is just one shot from the starter pistol to... I'm dead. Oh, well, I killed Bunker first, at least. We love boar. We love going deaf because of boar. Imagine if I could just... Yeah, that's... that's... Bunker for you. This, this is 258 damage per shot on an OP1 bunker. <laughs> I don't even need this. I Could you imagine if the playtest has actually tested Boar on Bunker? <laughs> I don't think anything dropped this time either. All right. And now we wait. No nothing. All right. Not a problem. Bunker, please. You done? Come on. Bunker, it's been like five minutes. Can you like do your thing? There we go. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> stop, stop, he's already dead. Just making sure everyone's awake is all, you know? Oh, well, nothing dropped. Ow, yep. It's a long one. Not for me to kill us there. Wait a minute, this isn't how he's supposed to... I guess something fucky happened when I died. Oh yeah, it's just a bunch of loot here as well. Surely something's gotta drop, right? You mind? It just looked as if that slab just like crashed into the bunker to take it out. I see the bitch, don't worry. I'm just trying to see if I can find the uh, thing I'm actually looking for. Or maybe because the bitch dropped I can't get what I was looking for. I don't know. Oh, wait, there it is. We have the Eviscerator. So, what would you do? The Eviscerator. Seems like high fire rate. Last round in the magazine deals 200% more damage. Okay. Yep. That tracks. Cool. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty solid damage. All right. We can give our ears a rest now. Anyway, well, let's do like a hundred tubby runs and then we'll move on to the next thing. Double double? Okay. Double double, but it dropped nothing. <laughs> Still getting used to having to double tap enter. I like it just a good seasoning on chips. This is the Embracer Group CBO again, wasn't it? <laughs> I 
And this is why if I was to ever do anything related to game dev, it probably wouldn't be with anything AAA. But, oh, don't even get me started on quadruple A. Yeah, have Sea of Thieves, but worse. We're calling it quadruple A. Actually, no, let's have the ship like segments of Assassin's Creed Black Flag, but worse. Quadruple A. The Pirates of the Carib uh yeah, the Pirates of the Caribbean section of Kingdom Hearts 3 has better ship combat ship ship combat ship combat than skull and bones. Nothing. Okay. Here we go. thousand here we come this is gonna be the last thing i need out of the entire list all right the sanctuary the monster mash quest line has a new reward at the end in the op levels like spider ant parts huh well i, I guess it can't hurt to do a couple more runs for that <laughs> never mind i guess it can hurt but, oh Oh, well, that's convenient. I guess while I'm in the bone zone... Ooh, yeah, that disintegrated them. I never even considered that. The fact this does melee on hit, it kind of just... moves your vehicle around. Done. Hey, you found the we have the cluster fun. Ah, I see. After a set distance, it splits into a bunch of uh, projectiles. Is that five? I think it's five. Four or five. Yeah. Five. Back to the tubbies, I guess. It's a short break from that. Go. I really don't want this to hit 2000. Oh, there was a second one. <laughs> this was a double tubble the entire time. <laughs> That's a few double tubbles we've gotten today. And yet I'm still struggling to get this last pearl. You see what I mean about... Also, there goes all my tubby left for the rest of the night, I'm pretty sure. Never mind. When I made that comment about like the tubby farm being like, you know, 
10 episodes long. I was exaggerating, but... <laughs> Look like we're getting a single pearl today. Few more runs and we'll head over to the warrior. One last run. We got a tubby last run though, so this is gonna have nothing. Yep. Alright, let's go fight the warrior. It's taking a little bit. That's basically because I can't bore him. <laughs> I can't get him to hold still long enough for me to build up crit skill. The moment he loses one of his chest pieces, he goes straight back underground or under lava. So, uh, hope we get a first try. <laughs> oh, there's a leech. Well, not a leech, a uh, nice surprise. Is that a warrior drop? Oh no, it's one of Vermi's dedicated drops. Right, that feels a little bit more effective. If this may be more effective. I'm getting plus 30 to gun damage and Hyperion gun damage with this. Oh, I think that may be a little bit more effective, yeah. One more. One tap. One tap. There we go. Oh, we go again. A blaster? Okay. Bigger legendary, just not what we needed. Matching. If that's. God, imagine. <laughs> Matching grip. <laughs> if it was deep, I swear. <laughs> I mean, this is still cheese. Yeah, this can work. Please don't step on me. Okay. Of course. That's the dedicated drop. Is there a world drop around here? Special. I'm gonna see if using the Stalker is better than the Killer. This doesn't feel like I'm hitting crits all that often. I already hate my life. Ah, uh, it seems to be working alright. I don't know. Anything? It looks like another nothing burger. Another one with no drop? Alright. I'll do another couple runs here. I, uh, I used up my luck getting this matching grip on Kim Tarot, huh? <laughs> One last run. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Today I learned. Lacquer. And... The Inferno. So yeah, I think I got the gist of it. The shots need to bounce like twice for them to explode. All right, let's see. Inferno. Boys incendiary bolts will bounce on the ground two times for exploding in large flash radius. Consecutive hits on any target will increase your magazine size for a couple of seconds. Hold on. I appreciate being nice to me in <clears throat> the moment, you know, I say, oh, you know, last run for the night. It's like, here, have it. See my max size there? Hold on. <laughs> oh, that's mental. You can see how many stacks I'm getting in the bottom there. Like about 74, 75. <laughs> I want to try and like get as big a mag as possible and then reload and see what the damage is. Probably best after this mag. Oh, I have reserve ammo, so I can't. Re God, that's like ridiculous. That was 140 million. I was 104 million. I, I thought I read 140. Because I've also got the stalker on, which is the plus 50% to mag size, which I feel like isn't actually making that much of a difference. <laughs> I want something to go quickly fight to get an idea. Yeah, Tinder probably. Right without B. Hey, I'm not getting the uh, 
So I was getting it on the um the target dummy just fine. So I mean, regardless, it's doing pretty solid damage. Weird. Yeah, it was working just fine against the target dummy. Why does shooting Timmy count? Is it just the snowmen that were weird? <laughs> yeah, no, okay, it's working perfectly fine against the Yetis. Alright, it's just the snowmen that were weird. Wasn't the best test in the end, but still. Uh, without the bullet stacking and without B, it was still shredding them down, so uh, pretty decent. He's got some solid elemental effect damage as well. Alright, now I'm uh, done for the night. Uh, dab.